Well now, uh, I guess I'm going to be sitting sideways on the bench and trying to look at the camera. I don't think that's going to work. Um, well, at least my feet are dressed nicely. These are the pages uh, of the boiled book. I'm going to call them boiled book pages. They came out just beautifully. I don't have a real good way to do close-ups. Uh, yeah, even if I move my um, camera higher because it'll be bumping into a bar. So I will have to take the camera off and do a little walk through with them too. But what I want to do is show how these came out. Uh, this is oh about 24 hours since I uh, took the wet ones out in the kitchen. Um, after I had them out in the kitchen, I had them on that piece of brown wrapping paper and then I just took that and dragged it off <laughs> because the sun went down or wasn't there so much and the, dragged it out into the uh, uh, front room that also gets some morning light so that these would dry nicely. So it's a book. Here was the piece I put on the bottom. This is pretty much like the little burn pattern that I've gotten before um, in the pan that I have retired in a metal pot. I decided that was not safe after all to be <laughs> cooking in, especially with a bunch of lint. Uh, all right. So there's that that was on the very bottom just to protect any of the pages. This is the kind of watercolor paper that it is, by the way. And this is the head of the tablet. Look, there's a man's face there. It's an eye and an eye and a nose, a mouth, chin, neck, some decorative something like perhaps sheepskin. Sheep, you know, with the f uh, fur. You don't know. Well, he's got a little bit of a beard, too, it looks like. Could be many things. Anyway, that's the beauty of these kind of books. And here is the other part of the back. Remember, I put, I'm just going to put it down here, um, a sycamore leaf in there. So it was large, and uh, it had broken. And there's such magnificent leaves. And then directly on top, of that then okay here we go mirror image is this this would be the last no it isn't the last page of the book it's a page I put in as a liner again uh, there's that face again or a dog or a pig and a chicken oh, I could do a whole Chinese New Year um, let's see, now I'm just bent over, and that doesn't help me speak clearly. So, those are the two ones, a liner. Okay, so this would be the bottom. And I put a camellia that I found on the ground that was... together but not quite completely together so I stuck that in the back for another layer between the heat and the bottom of the pan and my pan by the way did not get dirty I haven't cleaned it yet but it didn't get dirty so these three here served as a buffer between the heat under the pan this picked up the pattern of the binding
Oh, good. I got sh shadows here, too. The binding with which this whole packet was wrapped. So there was the front. Here's the iron. Oh, <laughs> here's the iron uh, from the bottom of the firing pan. But there was waxed paper over this. And then the frying pans with a rock were on top of that, all um, with the glass pan. And uh, remember how thick it was before I put it in. Let's back to something like normal. Normal for watercolor paper that's been painted on. Now, I think the important thing with doing it flipping this way right now, instead of just on the floor all scattered around, is that I finally figured out why these are called a boiled book, other than it being pages, papers that are boiled that are all the same size. It's a book because of the mirror images, and I've gotten things mixed up before, but this one because I marked the between pages with the onion skin, I was able to match them up really nicely um, because they change. You know, they don't, the two sides don't always match when I use a whole bunch of stuff in there. One side looks like the stuff that's on the top of the pile, and the other side looks like the stuff on the bottom of the pile, which is fun too for a two page spread. Um, oh, I'm also talking about the between pages and the inside pages. This would be an outside page or a between page, but it's not between because it's the back side of the watercolor paper. This watercolor paper in the little tablets has a, a, a right side and a wrong side. You can work on both sides, but there is a right side and a wrong side. So uh, I put the larger batches of leaves within the ones that had the right size side. Well, I think this just came out beautifully. I was looking at these this morning in the morning light. <laughs> My light here is disappearing. It has a nice chiaroscuro effect. At any rate, um, yeah, I get them mixed up. On the bottom and the top, well, I don't know, right? So, I know this is the front. I know that's the back. Don't really know which is the top or the bottom. <laughs> so, I'll figure that out in a minute. I think that was the bottom. Nope, nope, okay. Now, you see, I've already gotten these mixed up. Here's pine needle, there's pine needle. There's the mirror image. All right, now, this is the front. That's the left and this is the right. What I learned from this is that when I put them all back in exactly the same order in which they started out, it becomes a book because this is a pair and as you turn it this is a pair and then this is a pair when they're all situated exactly as they were and as I said sometimes I turn them this way and that way and you know, like I'm, I might be looking at this for something to compare while I don't see it. Maybe, maybe this is part of it on the other side. I don't know. doesn't matter. Look at the difference in color. I didn't put any color in here, remember? Just these dried leaves and um, that sulfured salt and rusty bits, bits of iron that are all rust big hunks. There's some with quite a bit of yellow in it 
it may have come from an onion skin or may not have. Let me just continue. This looks like, no, it's right. It has to be right. Because that's the correct mirror image there. So each one, as we go, is a mirror image of sorts uh -huh, of the one before and to view them correctly the way that they were they need to be in a book I, I, I didn't see it before I kept saying well why do they call this a boiled book when it's a bunch of boiled art papers. <laughs> now, isn't that pretty? This is onion skin. And I got some onion skin at Trader Joe's. I had some that I'd been saving thinking, yeah, that is a thing that you can dye with. Let me see if I can collect a little bit of that. And then when I was down at Trader Joe's last week, I, I went, oh, look at all those onions. I bet there's a bunch of that in the bottom of the bin. So I, I took a bunch of that out. Doesn't really weigh anything, you know. <laughs> I didn't peel any. I just took scraps. It's magnificent. Um, these were those ginkgo leaves. So to use them again, I think I would put them down and put a layer of onion skin and then maybe another layer of ginkgo leaves. Put that between. Oh my God. Oh, it's a piece of bread. This one is a between page, I believe. Yep. So I just put three leaves, three of leaves that I've saved out of this tree that I love so much. I don't know the name of it. And there's a, a version of it here in California, like the one that I have in Texas outside my window there that I love so much. eucalyptus and here you can see the ginkgo better and this orange is picking up from the other side I think the uh, onion skin so I'm going to keep going just to continue with watch how each page makes a pair as you turn them in that order and that's why it's a book the stack is a book. <laughs> Lately I've been surprised and pleased at very simple things. Oh, I learned something else too. Look at how beautiful this is. Now this I puzzled over a bit, but I think I got everything lined up. Yeah. No, I don't think I have it right. No, I have to. This is indented here. Something's not right. But this is right. Oh. Maybe this is where something's not right. No, that won't work. This is how they get all confused. Mm. Okay, this is... I think this is right, generally the right shape there. Okay. I think that there's one of the pink ones out of order. Okay, I know those are the three bottom ones. I know that's the bottom. So 
this look upside down to me? Maybe a whole bunch of them are. That looks upside down too, but... You know, when I watch the video, I might see it. <laughs> yeah, these are all situated correctly. Let's take a closer look at this just for the color. There are even some violets in here. Oh, this is not good. You know what I'm doing? I'm filming this with the camera in front of it. Down here it's okay, but for close up it's not. Those match. Those match. There we go, look at there. This doesn't quite make sense though because this is indented and this is indented and face to face they shouldn't be like that. Okay, oh, uh, yes they should here. This is indented and this is indented and we know that these came together, right? Look at that green up in there. Can you see that? So these both have a stem sticking out, and they both have the indentation of a stem, because this leaf w was between the both of them. It's not like one pressing down on one from behind. That's one place I've gotten confused. Okay, so this bump up belongs like that, and then this... Could be one of these. Okay, let's line these up. Let's see. Nope. Yeah. Okay. So those are correct, and then I guess I don't know. I don't see any of this in here. No, that we already checked that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that.
You know, I spent lots of hours beefing through these, wondering how they fit together. Okay, so I know that's correct. Still trying to figure this guy out where... That looks right to me. It is here. Maybe. Okay. So then this goes there. Oh, she's all spotty. Poor thing. Well, I'm not going to do anything. That's sad. Whoops. Mm. All right. This looks promising here. These match. That looks like a match out there. That's coming from there. Okay. Yep, we've got it. That's it. Now, the next thing I would like to do is show you close-ups. Of these in natural light that isn't changing and with the tripod a little close well no I want to be able to hold it up maybe handheld oh I'm going to have to edit this one. It was a, a long one. Oops. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. 